What's up, all my loyal fans? Uh, last time, I showed all my Super Mario Brothers good guy plushes. Like, and na and now for the second part of the collection, we will be showcasing the enemies. So let's start off with the most basic ones, and obviously that would be Goomba. So here is a. Uh, I'm gonna show you the Goombas I got in order. So I got this one first, this one second, this one third, this one's a pair of Goomba. I got this one fourth, this one's uh, the mini Goomba or the micro Goomba. I got this one fifth. I got this one sixth. This one's the um Tanuki Goomba from Super Mario 3D uh land. I got another pair of Goomba. And uh this is not the last Goomba, but the other two Goomba plushes are the rare ones, which I'll be showcasing at the end. But here's the last one out of the non rare ones. Mega Goomba. This one is big. Now let's move on to the Koopas and uh, other types of Koopa too. So here is my third ever Mario plush, my first Koopa plush. Here is the detailed Koopa looking sitting plush. He sits down, he doesn't really stand. But I mean you could position him to where he stands. So yeah, I like this Koopa a lot better. Next, here is a uh, red paratroopa. I couldn't find green paratroopa. Here is red koopa. This one, I think, is it's probably fake, but, you know, whatever. Just put them over here. Here is dry bones number one and dry bones number two. This one's my first one, and this one's a lot more detailed. I like both of them equally. I will also be showcasing my uh my power up plushes after um these the enemies. So next up we got Buzzy Beetle. And yes, I am still a little sick, so if I sound unusual, yeah, it's just a sickness. Here's Spiny along with Lakitu. Uh, I cut the spiny and the string off so he could just throw the spiny and then I would have an extra plush. So here's Lakitu and spiny. Here is Parabones from... He originated in Super Mario uh, 3D World and is now seen Odyssey too, Super Mario Odyssey. I really like this character in the games. I just don't know why. I just... Honestly, I just like him. I don't, I don't know why. So, here is Mecha Koopa. This guy is usually seen in airship levels. And he is seen in Super Mario Galaxy 2. But he looks a lot weirder and he shoots flames in that game. So, yeah. I'll just put him there. He, and then we got the bros. Hammer bro, rumoring bro. And, uh, if I could just find him. Bomb bro. Bombro is not from any games. He's a um, yeah, he's a he's just I don't he's not from any games. I know that for a fact. I just don't really know why someone made this, but I mean honestly, I thought it was cool because I mean think about it, a hammer bro that throws bombs. That uh, that's just that's cool. If you ask me. So uh, let's move on to booze. The bo I have five. Well, not really five. Oh, I have six different booze. One of them's rare, and I'll show you that later. But here is a regular boo. This boo was originally a boo Mario, but it was just falling apart, and now it's just a boo with a nose. Here is the big boo. Tanuki boo from Super Mario 3D Land. Whenever you look at this guy, he'll freeze and wag his tail and try to hit you with it. 
And last but not least, and kind of, but not really hard to find, the um, scared Boo plush. Whenever you look at a Boo, this is what he would look like when you're staring at him. So, yeah, that's what that is. Next up, we got Chain Chomps. Here's Chain Chomp number one. This one has a chain. Here is Chain Chomp number two. This one doesn't have a chain. It, 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 um, it ripped off. And so the Chain Chomps in Super Mario Galaxy don't really have chains. They just bounce around. And in a Super Mario Kart... And Rainbow Road in some of the games has bouncing chain chomps, so I'm not really mad that the chain ripped off this one. Kind of happy. Here is the blue chain chomp. I got this one because he'd be good for, like, if I ever did a Super Mario series, he would be in water levels. And yes, I don't know where his chain is either, but that's fine. Same thing with my red chain chomp. This guy would seen in lava levels. But, again, I don't really know if I was going to do that series. And then, you got uh, this smaller chain shop with a papery uh, chain. I like the real chain chain chomps a lot better. And then I got another one of these, but his mouth is open. Another cool feature about these ones, though, is that they have these zippers on the bottom that you can, like, put stuff in. You can stuff your hand in when you want. I would, like, use them as costumes or something. But, yeah, whatever. Now, on to the bombs and bullets. Here is regular ba -bomb. What? Here is a uh, bullet bill. Here is red bomb bomb. Here is a small Banzai bill plush. I wanted the big one, so I ordered the big one, and it is big. I mean, look at it compared to the small one. That is big. It's this plush is like almost as big as my as like it's as tall. Oh, by the way, last time when I was showcasing the good guys, I forgot to show Mega Luigi. So yeah, there he is, and uh, but this guy is. My point is, he's gigantic, so I'll just put him and this over there. Now for the enemies that I really don't have duplicates of. Well, I might have two, but, you know, whatever. They're probably different. So here is my first Piranha Plant plush. I hate that one. So I, when I saw this Piranha Plant plush, I was like, I gotta have it. It's a puppet, actually. So yeah, I could just make him eat stuff. I l and you have, you have to stick your hand in the pipe, which I thought was really cool. And if you, like, push in and try to do it, the piranha plant can go inside the pipe, and he can just pop out again. So, yeah, I love that plush a lot more. Uh, here is Pokey, usually seen in Layer Cake Desert in uh, Super Mario Bros. Wii. That's a detailed one. And then I got this gigantic one. It's tall, too. Uh, then I got, uh, in the Mario games, uh, there's these enemies, uh, called Fuzzies, and they usually come in packs, so I got, uh, two more to go with the first one, so yeah, I'll just plop those over there, then you get Monty Mole, I like this plush a lot, like, a lot, here is Cheap Cheap, this is a fake one, I'm looking for a real one, but until then, I just have that. Here's Blooper. He has a little hanger thing. Pork your puffer. He, like, jumps out and tries to kill you. Here is a uh, Shy Guy. Here is Swamp. This is another big Mario plush. And the last of my big Mario plushes. He's actually supposed to be a pillow, but you know, there's no other thwomp there's no other thwomp plushes, so I'm like, what's the point in using it only as a pillow? So yeah, I'm using that as a plush too. And now you get a spike. This guy throws like spike balls. 
If I ever did a series, I'd just probably make them throw fuzzies or something. Because, I mean, they're practically the same. And the last of the regular enemies. Regular. <laughs> so, uh, that's the last of the regular enemies. Now let's get to the bosses. First one, this character originated in Super Mario Bros. 2. Burrow. <laughs> For some reason, th she thinks she's a... She's a woman, but she's actually not a very awkward character, if you ask me. We'll just put him over there. Next up, here's a fake PD Piranha. This guy originated in Super Mario Sunshine, I believe. If, um, if I'm wrong, you could tell me, I wouldn't really care. Here is Dino Piranha, only seen in Super Mario Galaxy. You have to, like, uh, whack his tail and then it would hit him in the head. Something like that. Yeah, next up, here is Nabbit. I consider this guy a boss because in Super Mario Bros. Uh, Wii U, you would have to like chase this guy in order to get uh, this bag of power-ups back for a toad or something. I just consider this guy a boss. Next up, we have Boom Boom and Pom Pom. Pom Pom would throw boomerangs in... Uh, Super Mario 3D Land, and Boom Boom just, he, he tries to punch you. Now we got, uh, Dry Bowser Jr. I love this plush a lot. Here's Bowser Jr. holding his paintbrush. And here is original Bowser Jr. Next up. You have, uh, Baby w Waluigi, Baby Wario, Fake Baby Wario, Fake Baby Waluigi. Obviously, I like the real ones more. Next up, here is Wario. He's fat. Ne next is Waluigi. And, uh, here's Kamek. Now we got, uh, Lemmy. Hello! Larry. Morton. Which I really need to get fixed because his leg is a little torn. Here is Roy. Then Wendy. Then Iggy. Then Ludwig. And of course, you got Bowser himself. Bowser's dad, or stunt double Bowser. Dry Bowser. And Dark Bowser from Bowser's Inside Story. So now, these are all the non rare enemies. I love them all, and now let's get to the rare enemies. Let's start off with rare Goombas. Here is a blockhead Goomba from Super Mario Bros. 3. These guys would hop around and try to squish you or something. And then we got this Goomba. He, uh, I like this Goomba a lot. He has uh, stickery eyes. And I, I just like the way he was designed. Then, so, then we got the rare Galoomba from Super Mario World. You have to step on this guy, then he would flip over, and you could kick him around and stuff. But and and in Super Mario 3D World, all you have to do is jump on him twice to kill him. Next, we got Super Mario World Monty Mole. Oh, by the way. The Super Mario uh, World characters have like this little gold hook, which I really like. They're n it's not actual gold, don't think that, because then you'd be kind of an idiot. So, next up, we get uh, PD Piranha. I like this plush a lot more, it's not fake. And I also have a stunt double of him. So, I'll just put those over there. 